Also tonight, a new addition to Manhattan's skyline is building for the future of health care in the Flint Hills region. Stormont Vale's Manhattan campus brings together under one roof all the services they currently offer in the Little Apple and more. In tonight's Two Year Health, 13's Melissa Bruner has an exclusive first look inside. It's a lot to take in. This building is 75,000 square feet total. There are 95 exam rooms, three treatment rooms, five procedure rooms, a full imaging department. Um, I believe there's 50 offices and I think we boast 396 parking spots. Stormont Vale's new $37.5 million Manhattan campus has been nearly five years in the making, from design to groundbreaking in June 2021 to this. It's going to be the home of what is now really seven different clinics in Manhattan providing Stormontville Health Services, so you can anticipate what it's going to feel like for all of us to be together for the first time. Vice President and Regional Administrator Mary Martell says that includes primary care, imaging, a full lab, and specialty services like cardiology, gastroenterology, weight management, and behavioral health. More than anything, it will improve efficiencies. A lot of data goes into the background and the design of this to, to maximize the space utilization. Facility Services Director Keith Griffith says the space was designed to foster collaboration and maximize natural light. The exterior facade has a lot of windows and that light is filtrated in. It pervades the, the facility in a way that really, um, it, it just promotes well-being and, and kind of joy in the workplace. And it makes for some amazing views from this three-story building that's unofficially the highest spot in Manhattan, atop a hill on the north edge of K-State's campus, which leads to Griffith's favorite spot, a southwest corner office on the third floor. You can see the entire campus at K-State, the Flint Hills. You have a south southern exposure. You have a western exposure. You can see the Bill Snyder Family Stadium. The building has many other touches too. Mechanical systems are indoors rather than on the rooftop to lessen wear and tear from the elements. They aim to simplify wayfinding signs. One tip, hallways with ceilings like this lead to exits. Registration will be centralized at one first floor lobby and that lobby also will be home to a coffee shop. They've chosen a local provider for it, plus they'll showcase a local photographer's work on the walls and a local company is providing their conferencing technology. There's been a really concerted effort to partner with our community to promote the economy here and the quality of life for people in Manhattan. They're building not just for now, they're including room for future expansion with Manhattan and Riley County projected to be one of the state's largest population growth areas. So we need to prepare for taking care of patients 10 years from now and 20 years from now and that's what this is. It's an investment in Manhattan and the community. In Manhattan, Melissa Bruner, 13 News. It is estimated more than 500 people have worked on that facility at some point. Services will transition to the campus in phases, starting with uh, digestive health in mid-July, with a grand opening set for August the 18th. You can read the full list of what's going to be there on the health page at WIBW.com.